Hey guys, today I am doing this makeup look which I thought turned out perfect for spring but also if you do live in like you know the other hemisphere and you're in fall going into winter whatever you could always pair up this makeup with maybe like a deep purple lip I think it would flatter the tones I've used on my eyes perfectly either way I am obsessed with this makeup I love the face makeup this highlighter eyeshadow colors and the mascara this mascara is legit like this is just mascara no falsies or anything and look how like thick and dark my lashes look this mascara is like volumizing to hit in fact, they claim it's 11 times volume. I mean, it's it's super volume, okay? This is their new Rimmel London Scandalize Wow Wings Mascara. How cute is the packaging? I love it. I'm working with Rimmel today in this video to show you guys how amazing this works. I'm going to show you every little step so you can see start to finish. And also, it's quick. I know that's random, but I say in my video sometimes I love mascaras that are quick to use because I, I honestly can't be bothered with mascara most days. I don't like mascaras they have to sit there and like try to apply this one is really fast to use and it gives you like immediate volume I'm going to show you how to do the eye makeup face makeup and lips so if you want to see what products I use and how I got this look then just stay tuned so I'm going to start with my eye makeup today. As you can see, I've already put on my base and my eyebrows just to save a bit of time. I'm going to be trying out this Magnifies Eye Primer by Rimmel. I'm going to try and use like everything Rimmel, see if I can. And then if we open it up, it is a tinted primer on like a little doe foot applicator, which is my favorite kind of eye primer. So hopefully I like this one. So far it feels very creamy. And then I'm just going to take a concealer brush and just pat that out. It's a very sticky primer. I can tell it'd be really good for pigments and like loose glitter and stuff. Like it's literally so tacky. I'm gonna go into like a couple of palettes today because I just can't choose like which one to use. So there's all these new eyeshadow palettes by Rimmel. The colors are gorgeous. This one is my favorite. This Jewel Rocks one. I'm also going to go in with this Magnifies Wow Edition eyeshadow palette. So these palettes come in like a clear little packaging and you get all of these colors. 12 shades. These ones are like all sorts of beautiful jewel tones and I really want to use that, whoops, that white one over here like in my inner corner and highlight and everything. This color, like the bronze looks so beautiful and that green. So I'm just going to play around with a few shades. This yellow is so beautiful so I kind of want to use that and then go in with some other shades as well from the other palette but yeah like look how gorgeous this color selection is i'm a bit obsessed with these shades like i could create so many spring looks with this palette there's beautiful turquoise you know red tones there's the yellows and golds greens like it's just so perfect and you've even got like a beautiful bronze as well and then the other two that i have here the electric violet this is more like blues and purples which is beautiful as well and then this one is very on trend this is the crimson edition the red tones and neutrals and stuff so from the colors i've swatched already they very pigmented but we're gonna try them on the eyes for the first time together today it's actually Saturday today and I'm hanging out with my friends soon so I wanted to do something a little bit bold a little bit fun I'm going to go in with like a little crease brush and take that mustard yellow which is just like my favorite color right now clothing nails eye makeup like any of it I'm loving this kind of like look how pigmented this is straight away this is only on like a blending brush as well I'm going to kind of like pack that into the crease like all the way across. It's such a cool color. I love it. I literally would wear this kind of color on my eyes every day. I think it looks really nice with my hazel eyes. Such a random color, I know. But like a few palettes I've noticed have been putting these kind of colors in. Like the yellow mustards. And I'm just like so happy about it. Obsessed with this eyeshadow. Okay, next color. I'm actually going to go straight in to my brow bone highlights. I'm so excited to try out this like white shade. I know it seems so crazy to do. Actually... I was going to say, it's quite crazy to do such a bright white on my brow bone. I'll use it alone on my inner corner, but for my brow bone, I'm going to mix it with this color right next to it. Just so that it's a little bit less white. Now let's try this out. Oh my, look at that. Look at, oh my gosh, that pigment. What the heck? Did you see that go on? I hope you could see that. I am a bit shook. All of these eyeshadows from what I've like swatched so far and like I mean I've only blended in one color but wow like it is the best feeling when you find like drugstore makeup that just performs like the high-end stuff. Now I'm going to take this little K palette. I love this. I've used this on my channel before. This is in the shade Coral Glow. It's got three colors. I'm going to be using this on my face soon but I'm just going to take that contour shade and actually use just a little bit in that crease as well to give it a little bit more depth. I like plait my hair in bed last night and it's made my ends look all ratty. 
I'm so gutted. I'm like feeling this friggin 90s like hairstyle right now. Like high ponytails, scrunchies, like I'm all about it. And it's like the best hairstyle for when you just can't be bothered. I'm just bringing this bronzer a little bit underneath as well. Just on the outer corner of my lower lash line. Okay, next step. I was going to go in with like the greeny one maybe, but I actually think I might go in with that really warm like bronze kind of shade. I'm going to swatch it on my finger just once like that. Look at the pigment. That's so pretty. I'm going to keep this eye look. That's so pretty. I'm going to keep this eye look very simple because I think I want the lashes to be the biggest focus. That just looks so pretty and simple. By the way, this is from the Wow Edition palette. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my setting spray. This one is the Insta Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray by Rimmel. I'm just going to wet my brush and I'm going to dip into this kind of champagne-y pinky shade from the Wow Edition palette once again. I just want this to go on a little bit more intense and I'm just going to like apply it to the ball of my eye just to really highlight that setting into part of my eyelid and then going in with that white shade again from the wow edition i'm gonna just press this right on that inner corner i actually just want to like take a really little amount of this color from the jewel rocks collection i just want to like <laughs> mix in a little bit of bronze as well i don't know why i'm just like obsessed with all these shimmer colors and i'm gonna take a little bit of that bronze once again from the jewel rocks and just kind of buff a tiny bit of that underneath so that is the eye makeup done. Now I'm going to show you the new Rimmel mascara and I actually did try it once. I don't think the video will be up just yet but I was getting ready with Sally yesterday and we filmed it and I tried out this mascara for the first time and like we were both kind of shook. Like it actually made my lashes look so good and Sally was just blown away by like the side on profile as well. Like they just look so long and like curled. So this is the Scandalize Wow Wings mascara. Look how cute the packaging is. I love like the pastel kind of purple with the holographic right and then the wand looks like this it's like a wing out shape so it's shorter on one end and then longer on the other end and I really like the formula because it's quite like thick and almost kind of moussey to me which I like because you guys know when I go in with a mascara I love ones that just like cover instantly and like ones that give me a lot of volume really quickly because I hate spending lots of time on my mascara I just like a quick job quick and good and this is quick and good so this stuff gives you 11 times volume and honestly it gives you a lot of volume if you love a voluminous mascara this is the kind of mascara you will like i'm gonna zoom you in so you can really see like my before and after and i will put links to this down below if you do want to go check it out basically what we're going to do is we're going to start with the winged side of the brush which is that bottom side which is winged out it says right here to start with the wing side to instantly load and flare out your lashes so the shape right here is just going to hug your lash line and really apply the product which is what i was talking about before it puts it on quick it puts it on thick so i'm going to start with one eye so I like to like go into the root and I kind of look down into the wand or like past the wand and then blink into it and really just like load up those roots first because that's the hardest part to like get your mascara right in the root. I like start on the outer corner and kind of go into the inner corner afterwards like I'm doing now and then just keep blinking it through. And then I kind of like rotate the actual wand as I blink down. I twist this so it really scoops into the lashes and kind of like separates them as I go. So you can see already I've got like insane volume. Look at that. Now I like to take the same side and just really brush it to the tips. Distribute the product. You can see this is making your lashes thick AF. Now I'm going to dip back in one more time for product. I like to just take the very tip and just like wipe that off because sometimes you get it in like the inner corner and stuff like that. And then I'm going to flip it and use the curve side. It says use the curve side to define and achieve a full fan effect. So what this is going to do is just like apply a bit more product and just help to kind of continue to separate the lashes and just you know finish the look. Obviously just on an everyday look you can just whip this on if you really want to. You can just use one of the sides but this is going to you know give you the big as lashes possible if you do want to mess around with them a little bit longer like you could stop here but I'm going to use the other side apply a little bit more product and just really make sure I get it straight to the ends and you can see it there before and after it's pretty big <laughs> and if I try to show you like kind of side on like that's what Sally was saying. She was like, they look so good side on. Like, they just look curled. They look thick. And I'm just going to use that curved side again because the bristles are a little bit shorter. So they're a little bit nicer, I think, for the bottom. And I'm just going to apply some of that product to my bottom lashes because I just love doing my bottom lashes. Personally, you know, I just think it opens up my eyes and makes my 
makeup look look more finished. That is my before and after using this mascara. Like I said, it's just really nice and quick and thick and so black. So I definitely recommend this one. If you are looking for a new drugstore mascara, go give this one a go. And it's so cute. The packaging is so cute. I love the purple. Let's move on to the face because I just need to contour right now. This one is so good. I've talked about it, like I said, a few times in my videos. Once again, the color is Coral Glow. So first step, I'm going to contour with that middle shade. So just applying it on like this little domed contour brush and just into the hollow of my cheek. This color is beautiful. It's easy to blend. It's pigmented. It is really good. I think I mentioned this in like one of my monthly favorites. I did like one of my previous monthly favorites. I have not done a monthly favorites in so long. I just realized. Do you guys still like to watch those? Let me know. I can do another one. Like I'm sorry. Is that not a beautiful contour? I love this one. I need to use it more often again. I kind of like loved it for a while there and then just like, you know, moved on to a different thing. So I need to remember to use that. Oh jokes, I'm like still going. <laughs> now we're gonna do blush. So I'm just using a medium face brush and just dusting that over the cheek area, right on the apple. To highlight, I love this highlighter, it's so pretty. And I'm actually going to wet it today. It's really pigmented by itself, I swatch it for you. It's such a nice like champagne color, it's beautiful. It's actually a very similar color to like the Charlotte Tilbury one in my opinion that I love, like the duo highlighting and contour. I want to have like a more blinding highlighter today just cause my brow bone and inner corner is like so intense. I just wanna like balance it out a little. Just put that right on my highest part of my cheekbone. This is such a flattering color, I swear to you, like, ugh, it's like candlelit glow, you know? It just like warms up your face and makes you look so glowy and just healthy. <laughs> Ooh, I haven't tried this before. So this is by Rimmel as well, because like I said, I want to like try and use all Rimmel and I've done a good job, okay? This is the shade Rosetto Liquido, I think. <laughs> it's the Stay Satin Liquid Lip Color. This is how it looks. And then if we open it up, on a little doe for applicator that's so lightweight do want to just mix in the tiniest bit this is a matte one but i just want to mix in a tiny bit of this brighter coral it's called coral sass so that is the finished look if you enjoyed this makeup look please give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it make sure you check out the new mascara because i think it looks really nice let me know what you think and if you do try it out make sure you let me know how you go with it share your pictures with me on instagram hashtag shanixo i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye